So today we're going to take a look at our Max Trax bag. And this is, uh, we've been using Max Trax for a while, really like them, you know, or different traction mats. And uh, pretty handy pieces of equipment, kind of cumbersome and a little tough to store. So the first part in this system is the bag for the Max Trax itself. This is all uh, uh, what's called a VPC, which is basically a truck tarp or a bouncy house type material. On here you've got two pieces of webbing. You actually have a piece of two inch and then a piece of one inch bar tack to it. The two inch is sewn down so that we, we so most of the load of the actual Max Trax and is actually taken up by the webbing itself, not by the bag. So the bag doesn't carry the load, it's actually the webbing because the webbing obviously load rates substantially higher than what just the regular vinyl does. It folds down, it clips closed. As always, it's got a piece of a, a handy piece of Velcro across it here, so you can add miscellaneous stuff to it. We build a handle into this end, same thing, two inches of webbing and a piece of one inch webbing stitched down over top of it so that when you're lifting, you're lifting against the webbing spread out across the whole thing as opposed to just a handle on the side. On the back, you've got continuation of the webbing on the front. So you've got two inch wide, one inch, bar tacked on center at about two inches. So it gives us the ability down the road, what we've also got for this is tire mounting, uh, a way to mount this to a spare tire and a system to mount this to a spare tire and a system to mount this and to use that system to mount other bags. So I can actually take this as we go, we'll, have, we'll be able to take this, mount it to a tire, and then on the front, mount another bag to this bag so we can actually stack them, right? So we could stack a trash bag on top of the Max Trax bag, all of which would be mounted to the tire. If you don't have a spare tire mount, the other option is you can actually just take this, use NRS straps, run it through the looping, and strap this to your roof. And then instead of having to take the whole bag down, and have the Max Trax di discolored miscellaneous stuff like that. All I have to do is loosen up the straps that would be through the webbing, open this, slide the Max Trax out, slide them back in when I'm done, close it, tighten the straps down, and I'm on the road, which is way simpler than most of the mounting solutions we've had that actually protect the Max Traps, Max Trax or, or traction mats from the sun. Because it's, you know, everything kind of discolors from the sun, and, and that's where most of the abuse comes from. The bag gets to take the abuse and the wear, not the rack and the actual traction mats. Anyway, that's our, uh, our traction mat bag. This, is, uh, this one's fitted for two match max tracks. We're gonna have one that fits uh, a number of different brands, and we're gonna have one that actually stacks up and fits four coming out uh, as we go here. Anyway, thanks for taking the time to stop by and check it out.